Morning all, we are back out on test rides yet again, yeah, no stopping RB. We are out on a 50cc Echo this morning, great little 50cc, we've got loads of these going out, left, right and centre, and we are just waiting obviously on the test ride. So, PDI and QC's all been done, great little 50cc if you're starting and it's going to be your first twist and go scoot. Two little storage pockets, still a bit of storage under the seat, not enough for a helmet, but you'll get your locks, your chains, your wet weather trousers and your jacket under there. On the gauges, speedo, fuel, telltales, management light, start button, horn indicators, lights, no flash button, just main beam, dip beam, which lights up there. Indicators very bright, you can see them even in the bright daylight. And your mirrors, tiny little mirrors, but perfect view of what's going on behind me down at the garden centre including the lorry that's making a lot of noise now let's get out and ride side stand main stand 30 mile an hour maximum this one this morning i don't know why but this one is a flyer let's have a quick look at our ev charge zones we're almost done they're putting the road work in now all the cables are in from the other day so they are coming along nicely. Now, let's just let this car clear because 30 mile an hour bike and they're coming in quite quick, even though it's a 40 mile an hour zone, they're doing the damn sight more than 40. So as soon as we clear the traffic, we are out and we're off a run around town at 30 mile an hour. Away we go. So to get it up to 30, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go, twelve seconds to get yourself up to 30 mile an hour. Don't have to worry about a speed camera this morning, we're not going to be breaking any speed limits. Now, climbing a hill, it'll do about 25 mile an hour with the weight on it. Now, I am just over 12 stone, 510, 32 leg, as everybody knows by now. You know more measurements than I do but if you're a younger rider you're gonna be a little bit lighter we'll get up to speed a little bit quicker if you're a heavier rider then be prepared to take your time but around town put into college school off to work on a 50 cc you're gonna get a good hundred plus to the gallon out of one of these tank holds about four liters so that tank will last you literally a good week and a bit unless of course you're doing about 20 miles a day but once you hit 30 that is it it will not go any faster a little short bars but it does handle exceptionally well for an echo and we are going to basically do the reverse of the route that i did the other day so we're going to crank up some miles whack it all in and obviously watching out for traffic so it's just after nine o'clock on a Friday morning. And we're gonna have a puddle around, put about five miles on the bike. This one's going out to a female customer, Maria. So this is gonna be her bike. So it's a test ride just to show how the bike handles and riding it around at 30 mile an hour. And I still get questions and I'm still getting people asking, why do you go and put all that mileage on a new bike? <laughs> <laughs> oh, doesn't know where he's going he's going up the path all right cross behind me then wait until i've cleared for god's sake but why do we test ride so many miles the reason being some dealers will go around the block do a quick one mile two mile test ride yeah bike's good to go let it go mate that'll do a couple of days later you've got an issue with your bike you're back in the bike shop and they're going all oh, right well we need to book it in but it's going to be two or three days until we can uh, get your bike looked at so you've got a brand new bike and you can't ride the damn thing hence why we put all the test mileage on any problems or any issues that are going to occur with the bike are going to be picked up in the first 10 miles which is why we do a 10 mile test ride two rides two separate days to make sure everything is hunky-dory and I do this on every darn bike which means a lot of test rides for me but out of the I think 96 bikes we have done so far 
and we've not had any problems. Now the ones that we do get back is normally where the customer has not fueled the bike correctly. They've gone and put E10 in it or something, or they've not cleaned it, not maintained it, or not done their services on time, or just ragged it out of the box from day one. You have to run all bikes in. Now with the 50s, happy days, you can do 30 mile an hour all the time, because that is it. On a 125, you've got to take your time. 40 mile an hour, first 500 miles or three months. And it's the same across most of the bike brands. You've got to be really careful and run the bike in religiously. So maximum of 40, little bursts of 45. Get your first service out of the way. You can then open the bike up and do 50 mile an hour, maximum of 55. That will take you two and a half or 3,000 miles depending on your brand. Am I going to get past him before the uh, turn off? Yes, I am. So, that's six months or two and a half, three thousand miles after. Once you've done that, then you can open the bike up fully. Now, the first lot of oil in these is running in oil, just to make sure that the engine bed's in. Once you have your full service, or your first service, we change your oil out, decent bit of 10W40 in it and it's 10W40 bike oil don't go down Halfords and buy 10W40 and find it's car oil and put it in your bike you will screw the engine up not only that if it's a geared bike you will screw up all the clutch system twist and go has a belt rollers and variator and a clutch so don't have to worry there but 10W40 car is not the stuff it's 10W40 bike and always check on your spec what the oil is so it's going to be either ma1 ma2 jso just check what your oil is before you uh, obviously go and change your oil so a lot of people do service their own bikes and it's a 30 mile an hour down here <laughs> normally there's a speed camera sitting right in that bus stop and he's definitely not doing 30 mile an hour. I am though. Look, bang on the 30. There we go. But for a first bike, now these are about, I think, 16.49. So grand and just over the grand and a half. First bike, you're not going to go far wrong with an Echo. Now there are other bikes available that we do in 50cc so we'll have a quick run through the list so the Echo 50 they do the GT Max by WK a little bit bigger and uh, go and have a look at the ride on that so it's a bit bigger of a bike but it's very good and they also do the geared ones so you've got the Scrambler 50 from WK and the Colt 50 well that's your two geared options and obviously there are other geared bikes available and you may know it's I'm occupying lane two make them go round me I'm doing 30 mile an hour they can go around me make the buggers wait as I say the only thing you have to do is obviously keep an eye on those mirrors just watch out for traffic coming up behind you from your posterior and once you've done that you're all hunky dory to go So I'm going to have a little ride down here, round the top, down the dual carriageway, past the Asda and the football stadium. And then we're going to head back to the garage. That will clock up my mileage. So we are currently 6k in, which is about three miles. I always say kilometres is about half of that. And a quick little adjust of my mirror there. Let it bed in a bit. Now, a couple of things coming up. This Sunday is Remembrance Sunday. Remembering the fallen, lest we forget. And I am a big, obviously, being ex-military like Peaky and all the boys, we all do our memorial ride. So that is this Sunday. We're going up Super Sausage for 9 o'clock, if you want to join us. Round about quarter past half past ten, we are riding back to Bletchley, to Bletchley Park, 
to the memorial for the 11 o'clock remembrance service and you get to see RB in his beret and someone said to me I do look more like Frank Spencer thank you very much but as a mark of respect I am going to be uh, in my military uniform so that is this Sunday next Sunday is the bike show NEC at Birmingham November the 19th we are going to be leaving early in the morning whether I take the bike or the car depends on the weather I shall probably end up going in the car but we're going to be meeting up and it's been a long time coming it really has been a long time coming I get to meet up with the one and only Z head motor vlog Stuart and absolutely love that guy a bit so we're going to go up and uh, meet Stu now Peaky's already met them but the one person I am going to meet up with and I am so looking forward to it is Lockwood 92 Robert me and him chatted for years and years and years and uh, we follow each other he's obviously been off the scene he's had a few things going on in the background he has it on coming down so it's going to be mass hugs all round bit of RB and Lockwood love going on on the Sunday because he's a great rider got a lot of time for him and I tend to find that the uh, obviously the English bikers go and do their own thing and I hang out with uh, Uncle Red Rhythmic mad old biker boo rider and obviously Peaky but when you actually chat with the Scottish boys, they are lovely. So it must be something to do with the amount of whiskey they drink. or They're great guys. And Escher Vlogster, I've got, to, I've got to remember him as well. Mark Escher Vlogster, Grems, Graham, and obviously Agus Whisperer. Yeah. So all the Scottish boys, they're all fantastic. Have some great fun with those boys. So that is going to be a nice little meet-up that we do. At the bike show, we'll have loads of video, TikTok and everything on the day. Probably end up taking the 360. Have a little bit of fun with the 360. And uh, hook some video up for that. And obviously catch up with some of the big ones. Bruce Teapot 1, Lamb Chops, Richie Vida, username Kate, Biker Kaz, and of course... I might get a few photos of the bald man that uh, flies a plane that lives in Great Missenden, yeah. We know of each other, but uh, don't tend to get on very well with him. And I'm not going to say why. But uh, we're racking up the miles on this. So we're going to have a quick run down here, up the back, round the back to the garage, and I am heading back for a cup of coffee because... Uh, it is decidedly cold this morning. But for puddling around, can you imagine you're on your way to college, school or work on one of these? Alright, so it's only 30 mile an hour, but it's going to get you there and it's going to do it very cheaply. And it is a great bit of kit for running around, so for just over a grand and a half, you're getting yourself a decent little uh, twist and go scoop. And there's some really good stuff that is coming out at the moment and obviously when we go to the bike show we will catch up with the new Lexmoto products. Probably end up doing a live. Now I have said that I'm going to be on the Lexmoto stand from round about 10 o'clock for about an hour. So we're going to go and meet Paris Key and Jack and everybody from Lexmoto and uh, do a little bit of a live on the stand, couple of interviews so if you want to obviously come and meet RB I'm going to take some merch with me it is first come first serve on the merchandise but if you do want some merch stickers, badges t-shirts, I'm going to take a load of stuff with me, it's first come first serve once they run out they run out but I will have a load of stickers on me and if you want to come and get selfies a lot of people want to do selfies with me I don't know why, I'm not a celebrity I'm just me, but if you want to come and say hi very welcome to do so so we're going to be on the Lex Motor stand from about 10 o'clock on that Sunday morning whilst we catch up and of course all the Scottish motor vloggers are all going to be there all the other motor vloggers we're all going to probably meet up and have dinner which is going to be a good one right back to the garage test ride complete on the Lex Moto Echo for Maria all good 
out on another bike in about 10 minutes time final couple of rides register another bike get it ready a few more final test rides and then i've got a full day of rebuilding the vulcan this afternoon that is going to be fun and about four car MOTs and about five bike MOTs, so my day is full. So don't forget, if you are interested in a 50cc, and you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, leave a comment. List of all the motor vloggers down below, Friday night live stream tonight. And of course, if you do want one of these, Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk. Telephone numbers 01908 822 or 01908 643603. But until the next test ride, guys, be well, ride safe, and from RB with a yard full of motorcycles, it's a big goodbye from me.